Hello everyone and welcome to today's Let's Play. What we're going to be going through today is the game Football GM created by Reddit user Dumb Matter. And we'll be starting our own franchise going through a draft and then uh, we'll see how far we can go before I get fired. We'll be playing on the most difficult difficulty here, uh, which is insane mode. Basically, if you fail to uh, make money or make the playoffs for three straight seasons, you'll normally lose your job. We'll use a starting year, just do 2,000, just so we can do a real quick, easy, all decades team and such when we get there, if we uh, get that far. And we'll call it Let's Play 1. And uh, for team, we're going to go with the Boston Massacre, um, as you can see in the bottom right here. But also because I'm a Bostonian and you gotta, you know, we gotta keep it in the uh, in the state here. So um, what we'll do is check see if we want to do any other options. I don't think we will today. Boston's not particularly difficult, um, so I'm not too concerned. Um, and what we'll do is we'll actually do a fantasy draft once we get going here. Um, now, in case you haven't done a fantasy draft before, the way a fantasy draft works is every player in the league um, is basically put into a pool, and you're able to uh, draft from the pool uh, and build your team that way. So we'll know every player on the team throughout this Let's Play, rather than us having to learn a pre-established roster. So we'll start with the fancy draft right off the bat. We'll do randomized order seven times. Lucky number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, well, unlucky number seven. I got pick 20. Could be worse, not too concerned. Um, and the first uh, few picks, I'll explain in detail my decisions. Um, so first we'll sim towards our pick here. I like to get a, a quarterback or a big defensive player in the first round. Um, let's see, what do we got for options? Um, some really great alignment on some affordable contracts. A three-year deal for John Morrell is there is kind of tempting, to be honest. Um, I think what we're going to end up going... I'm just going to see if there's a really solid QB uh, that fell this far, but I'm not seeing one there. So I think what I'm going to do here is take Morales. I don't like picking an alignman, but he's a 70-plus overall, so he's a superstar alignment. Because um, in BBGM and FBGM, a 50 overall or higher is considered uh, a quality starter. Uh, 72, he's really solid. Signed for a three-year, fairly cheap contract, fairly young. I think we'll roll with him with number one here. Um, now, with our second pick here, uh, I do like to go with a big defensive player. So I think we will draft the athletic Jordan Dixon. Um, he's on a fairly affordable contract, not too concerned there. And we'll see how that plays for us. Um, now, I do need... I really need to get a quarterback here, in my opinion. Um, I don't think there's too many other options. Um, let's see if there's any real star. Might have to make a move to pick them up instead. But um, I'm kind of tempted to go with Jordan uh, Gilchrist here. Um, again, not seeing any quarterbacks. And I'm, I'm kind of worried. I might. Here, let's see. It says uh, there, is, there is a 60 overall quarterback. But I don't know if I'm going to go with a 60 overall QB here. I think uh, what we're going to do is probably play quarterback a little bit by uh, position here. Um, and I think I will pick... Um, <laughs> this is actually a fairly tough uh, debate to start it off. Um, I think I'm going to go with Tony Mullins here. Um, just picking up a really quality cornerback, um, affordable, and yeah, I think we'll keep with the youth movement here. And with this next pick, uh, we're going to be looking probably to add um, really anything to our team of real good value. I think that's where uh, Gilchrist would come in, um, so I think that's where I'll pick up Gilchrist. And we're going to have a really great defense here. Um, I'm not normally big on going high uh, with a defensive uh, start, but we're just getting some really good opportunities. And I haven't really seen a, a great um, offensive player that I'm really excited to pick up, so that's kind of where we are. Um, let's see here. I kind of want to say Devin Arenas might be a, a possibility with this pick, but that's a big contract for a wide receiver. I don't know if I want to risk that. I think I'm going to pick up Taz Patterson here. we got two years, really cheap contract before I have to make a decision on him. Um, and then with the next pick, um, I do want to pick up uh, an offensive lineman if I can. Um, if that appears to be, I think I'll do Colby Johnson here. And then I, at this point, we really need to get a quarterback. Um, we've really slept on QB, so we'll see what's left. Um, 
We might be able to go for a quick championship here, and I'm kind of tempted to go with Clint Kennedy. He is old, but I, I do really want to go for this quick championship. Um, see if we can be that, that great team early, right out the gate. Um, I, I think we'll roll with uh, Clint Kennedy here. You know, We're going to be old, but we might have a chance. So looking here, um, we'll see our next pick. We need to probably get him a weapon or two. Um, our offense is going to kind of struggle to start off this uh, playthrough. Um, let's see. Any really quality? I think we'll pick up Matt Leffer here. Um, we'll see how that does for us. And our next pickup. I'm going to pick up a linebacker. I, I know his contract's expiring, but I'm planning on re-signing him no matter what. He's a young, potential pact. 60-plus uh, linebacker is always great. Um, so I... I where I'm at with him. If Parks makes it to our next pick, yeah, we're going to go with Parks. Parks is a great value. I'm shocked that he fell this far. Um, and now we do need to add some other uh, offensive weapons here. Uh, Justin uh, Rohrbach is quite a, quite up there, so we'll see if uh, we can get him a ring. Plus, he adds a really solid tight end presence uh, in year one. Now, we do have an older quarterback, so I am tempted to potentially pick up a backup here. Um but I don't really want to spend a ton of money next season on a backup. Instead, I guess we're going to go with uh, leading a going wide receiver here, potentially Bearfield or Evans. Um, they're a little bit more developed than Coda um, and signed a little bit longer term. I think I'm going to go, because he has the athletic badge, Lakeem Evans here. He'll be our, our number two uh, option. And then um, we're now in a really interesting spot when it comes to offensive linemen, and I would like to add some more guys. We'll have to pay Bowers, so I don't know if I want to do that right off the bat here or potentially add one of these defensive linemen. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll add Kevin Williams, add a quality defensive lineman. Um, with this next pick here, I'm probably going to pick... I think we got to go running back, you know? And, of course, there isn't, like, a great option. I don't want to spend $7 million on a running back. I was hoping there would be somebody a little younger. Let's see if I search by running back. We can find one here. Um, doesn't look like it off the, off the top here. Not really seeing any that are potentially game-changing. Um, I figure I can get any of these guys in the next couple of rounds, and they'll all produce around the same. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, roll with linebacker. No, oh, he, he's expiring. You know, it's it's a tough debate there. I guess I'll go, go with uh, Jimmy Jackson. And I, I'm happy with that pick. You know, we're getting some really quality players here. Um, defensively here, I'd like to pick up someone uh, that can potentially be a long-term player for us. So I think that's where I'll pick up um, David Murray. We'll bring him on for at least two seasons here, see how it goes. Um, and then I'm going to pick up Rust right on the quick turnaround. And now I'm going to see if I can grab some O-line guys for these next two rounds. Um, and then we'll pick up a backup quarterback. Might pick up Simmons if he makes it to this next pick here. Um, I think what I'll do with this one, though, is pick up uh, Javon Stephens. And Simmons did make it, so we'll pick up Simmons. He'll be our backup for now. I don't really see him as the heir apparent, so to speak, but he will be an okay backup. Um, I'd like to add a running back now, so I think I'm going to... I don't want to add Dungy because I'm concerned that we'll have a really solid team around him and he'll produce really well. And I don't really want to shell out the dough early on. So I think potentially picking up um, a o lineman could be a good option, but I don't want to pay out. Um, not a ton of great options, honestly. Fairly early in the draft to feel like uh, we're kind of like stuck in a spot where there is, isn't any great picks, but here we are. Um, I guess we'll do Jesse Macmillan. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um and then with this next pick, I'm going to pick Sam Hall here. He'll be our starting running back for these first couple of seasons. We'll get to see how he does uh, and how his career progresses. And then Dungy still, is, he's he's really dropping here. I'm, I'm tempted to pick him up just for the, the one-year production, and we'll see what that gets us. Um, and Mitchell Sterling will add to what I think is going to be a stellar year one defense. We'll add uh, another uh, cost-effective linebacker. Um... I think I'm actually going to go with Jamar McCoy because he's on a fairly cost-efficient deal um, and could be a, a potential starter day one for us. Um, we do need a backup tight end who's fairly young, and I like picking up an athlete. 
So I am tempted to pick up Christian here. Um, I think I will pick up Christian Cleet. Um, now, I do like to get good kicker. Um, so we will be picking a kicker here. Um, I'm going to pick up Desmond Hart. And then I'm also going to pick up a punter here. Um, oops. <laughs> Always seems to happen when I try to uh, try to find a punter. And uh, we'll pick up Drew there. Um, now looking at some other positions that I need. Um, let me see my roster, see what my weaknesses are. Uh, we're good at QB. Uh, Kennedy, assuming he doesn't age, could be a potential MVP in the next couple seasons. We could use a backup running back. Um, we only have one wide receiver. Two wide receivers. Yep. Okay, so we need to add a wide receiver. Um, wide receiver and offensive lineman ASAP. We have some major holes there. So what we'll do is we'll add Devin Wright here, uh, picking up an athlete. And then we're going to add some O-linemen. So we'll pick up Griffin and um, we'll pick up Grant. And then we'll pick up a third star string quarterback in Zakaria Jones. Um, unlike real NFL, I do recommend having three quarterbacks if you can in um, uh, FBGM. It's a luxury, but it's very beneficial. Um, especially long-term. We'll pick up Scott here. Uh, he's a, going to be a solid linebacker for us. Um, I think I'll go with Logan as well. Uh, Cost-efficient, good quality backup. Uh, we're nearing the end of the draft here and uh, picking up some of these cost-efficient prospect guys uh, to be like our, our backups. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with a lot of these guys here. We do have an all-50-plus O-line group, I believe, um, but I, I would like to add some depth there. I'd also like to add another wide receiver or two if I can. Um, and then some guys into our uh, our defensive backfield. Um, not looking like a lot of options here, so I will add the expiring safety. And another tight end is not a problem. And here's where we really just start sorting by overall that's not a punter or kicker. Probably have to go like five in, yeah. Three in maybe. Looking at like 39s and 40 overalls there. Uh, we'll pick up a prospect cornerback. And there we go. So we'll go set our team step chart. But first we got some free agents here. And what we're going to do is uh, we'll just fill in our depth chart. Um, first I'm going to add a couple of the top free agents right off the bat. So uh, we have $60 million in cap, so it's not really a problem. Um, but I really don't want a kicker. I'm going to start looking for a running back. Right off the bat to add some depth. We only got two on our roster up here in the right-hand corner, it says. So I think I'll pick up um, Grant Taylor. He'll be our first signing. And then um, I'm going to look and see if there's any quality defensive linemen out there. Um, we'll pick up Gordon Stammy. And then I'll take a look and see if there's any good cornerbacks. And there looks like there's two that I'll take here. Um, anything in my opinion below a 40 isn't necessarily going to be super valuable to you. You can also trade to pick up players for low end picks here. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll pick up some guys like, uh, picking up a linebacker on a cap dump. He's a 40 overall might contribute a little bit, but we also pick up two eighth round picks. I'm just going to package those up later. Um, Orlando Brown, not a bad wide receiver prospect, probably be like sixth on our depth chart when all is said and done. Uh, next season, but we'll see. Um, a solid defensive uh, lineman. I kind of wish to an extent that they specified which type of lineman, um, because edge rushers are obviously a lot different than um, interior linemen. Am I it, like I just think in football in general, um, and obviously uh, I think they produce different statistics in uh, FBGM depending on where they play the majority of their time. So we'll see. Uh, if we need to add some rushers later on. Um, I'm not seeing a ton of value here, but I will pick up um, an offensive lineman. And then what I'm going to do here is now we've accumulated a bunch of picks. So if you go to your trade block, I'm going to just add all these picks I've acquired, and I can probably get something of value for them. Um, and I've just picked them up for guys that I was going to sign probably worse guys anyway. All right, doesn't look like I'm picking up anything there. So if I put a fifth round pick in, if I put a fifth round pick in, I can get, ooh, 
potentially up to a 59 overall. Um, that's kind of tempting. Um, we're not really giving up anything of value here. So we can pick up a whole bunch of depth at some positions that we need. And a sixth round pick isn't that much different than our fifth. So let's see how many roster spots we have now. One roster spot. We'll check free agency, see if there's anything solid. Um, position I'm going to look for is actually I'm going to add a, another kicker. Just as a backup in case um, one of the hunter or kickers gets hurt. And now we'll just auto-sort all, and we're going to go set our roster here. So Clint Kennedy is going to be our starting quarterback. Um, the face of our franchise, Clint Kennedy here. We'll see how he does um, in year one. Um, and we'll go over to our next position here, running back. Um, at running back, we don't have a lot of depth. Grant Taylor is our third running back. So I'm expecting Morrissey to play a little bit there, and Lakeem Evans, I'm going to actually have him as my third guy there. Um, and then we'll even have, uh, after Morrissey, we'll put in our uh, backup QB. Um, we got to kind of hope we stay healthy at running back. We're kind of thin there. At wide receiver, um, Rohrbeck will be one of our main receivers. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'm going to have Rohrbeck mostly just play tight end for this first season. We're pretty solid at wide receiver, um, so I don't really need him to take up much uh of the offensive um, sets. Uh, we'll see at tight end. Um, this is where I'm a little bit more concerned, but we'll, we'll do our best here. We'll probably put Evans is the uh, third there. And we'll just see. Uh, Rohrbeck should be able to put up some great stats, I'm hoping. Um, I'm comfortable with our lineman setup. I want Clay potentially to play a little bit of a line, but we I, I really don't want Dixon in there at all. Sometimes star defensive players can be okay. Um, o lineman, I think J.J. Watt's done that a few times in the NFL. Um but realistically, we don't want him to get hurt on offense. It's not worth it for a 40 plus production, uh, 40 or so production. Well, um, we have a lot of uh, quality um, defensive backs that can play up. We have three in the top, like 10 there, it looks like. Um, but I, I'm pretty confident. You know, we got a lot of defensive linemen. I think we'll be fine. Uh, for linebackers, um, we'll move in Jesse McMillan as our primary backup. We got 360 pluses. We have a really solid defense. Um, I, I, I'm not really too concerned about our production on defensive side of the ball. I am concerned with our depth at cornerback, where Mitchell Sterling will probably be playing some. It wants us to play some receivers as our primary backups. I mean, we don't have a second cornerback. Uh, Tony Mullins is going to be asked to do a lot. Fortunately, I think I can spare Mitchell Sterling to start there, and um, we'll put in Blevin. I do not want one of my wide receivers playing defense. No real need to do that here. We'll even give Gilchrist the option above him. We'll see how that goes. Safety here. Mitchell Sterling we know is starting, so we will move David Murray into the starting role there. Um, our defense is phenomenal. No concerns at all. Um, kicker will be having um, Nate Perez as starter, Desmond Hart off the bench, and a punter will uh, set up Perez to be the primary backup there as well, um, and we'll move Hart up as well. Okay, so looking now at kick returner, um, it wants Roarback. Roarback is not going to return our kicks; he is our tight end, but we will probably not want to get. Uh, I believe kick and punt returners have a higher chance of being injured. So I think what we'll do is we'll put Grant uh, Taylor there. We really can't spare losing another running back. Um, I think Sam Howell is going to be our starter. Uh, Lakeem Evans can return the um, punts, but I will put Grant Taylor there. I like to keep him normally the same unless there's like a clear advantage and uh, we have no statistical basis on that. So uh, with that, we have our roster. We'll see how we look in the power rankings for our season prediction. We're projected at number one. I don't know if we're actually going to be number one. We're really thin at a few really important positions. And uh, there is another 82 team in the same conference as us, so we're going to have a really tough way to get there. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can at least make the playoffs. The thing is, I've found in uh, Football GM, we might be listed as the top team here, but that means very little early in the season. So um, with that, I think I'll let you guys go for this first video, and we'll get going with the second one in a, in a bit. Um, and thank you for joining me on today's Let's Play.